Hey Wolves, I really want to talk about this topic. is about social media, mostly about TikTok. Yeah, mostly about that shit app. I'll say that at the end of the uh, video. But I really want to bring this up. I've I've seen the loads of clips of people helping others. Some are real, some are fake, and some are very bad background background story or some shit like that. Um, some I don't really believe that this could this could happen. Um, but topic, but this is my opinion end of the day. And uh, so yeah, I've seen clips on Facebook or Insta or um, mostly on yeah, I think it's mostly on Facebook. Some are on TikTok. How people can act, they are so kind to someone else. You can see that's real if someone else is filming on the other side of the street. Fair enough. That's quite good. Because that's showing some people are really nice and caring to others. But some aren't. Um, I will never pick up a camera. And if I have 50 pounds in my wallet. I will never pick up my um, camera and record to give it to someone else. I'll never do that. I've helped a few people in Africa. They are the poorest. They are poor and I saw the child and the mom and all that stuff. And I didn't pick up a camera and fucking show the kindness who you are. I will never do that. I'll, I'll just remember it and be proud of what you've done. But if you record it and then showing off who you are to others, then okay. Sometimes it does give you a sign or like telling people why not your it's your turn to help others. Okay, fair enough. That's good to uh, give them a um, chance to rebuild to be kind to others. But to me, you don't need to record it. You don't need to record how good you are. We're all different. We are. I'm, I'm gonna say this. We all have really bad side. I bet that person who recalled these kind videos or anyone they do walk past these people you know if bag is on the street I bet people will you know, walk past these people I'm not lying I remember um, I think I was gone to this place in Wales and I walked past some people with camera right this is an example and it's actually happened and this is the reason I don't believe anything happens on social media sometimes. I like how people ha help others and then you don't know what happened to that video like behind it. Like when the video shuts, they are a different person. That's what I'm trying to say. And I remember this time, I, I think I was in the car and I saw someone with a camera giving money to this homeless guy on the street and he was saying thank you and I, I was guessing because I, I can't lips you know talk and I was like oh this is nice and then I saw a phone and I'm like oh for fuck's sake and then uh, when the camera shut when he when I saw this guy put a camera to his pocket he asked that guy money back I'm thinking, wow, that's a bit of a dick move. You don't do that. Um, but yeah, you know, that's that's the reason I don't like people use tension of that way. You don't do that. It's wrong. Now, if you want to give money to the people, don't record it. If you want to record it, that's fine. But do not use it for attention. And that's what I really hate about social media. They use it for tension. And it sucks. Because you don't do that. That, that example TikTok for fuck's sake. I've seen things on that I don't want to see anymore. That TikTok platform is crap. They don't have anyone on the desk to stop these crimes that have been committed. These challenges that should be banned. But, and then these kids are dying from this app. No kids should not be in that fucking app in the first place. 
have a platform for kids, but sadly, pedophiles, I'm going to say it, pedophiles are using these apps for fun. And that's the truth. Every social media. Uh, and that's not deniable. And uh, that's, this is the reason I hate social media. They accepting these bullies to carry on. These tension seekers, these tension people want more followers, more likes, more subscribers, or any shit like that to get money or attention. What well, I said, they just want the attention. Like example, family channels and forcing these kids to cry on the video. I remember that story, I was like, bloody hell, that, ha that does happen. And these prank family too. And we keep, keep bullying these two kids. And I, I'm like, fuck's sake. You don't pick up a camera and record shit every fucking day. Like some YouTubers I respect. They are family that they don't want to bring to the channel and they don't pick up a camera and film what the fuck they do. Like, I don't do that for attention. I'll never do that for attention. Um But yeah, I didn't pick up a camera to help these people in Africa. Because it's wrong. It's it's not th something I want to share, or something I I want to pick up a fucking camera and show the privacy of life. What I remember that day is I helped them and they cried, and of course I have tears, but I don't, I'm not gonna fucking film it and zoom in in my tears. I'm not gonna do that. Or put a sad song and get more attention. You know. Like some people use homeless or very poor people for tension sometimes, and I don't like that. Like Mr. Beast, okay, I'm not. I have nothing against Mr. Beast. I respect him, but sometimes he needs to cut down filming because some people like me will think, you know, for fuck's sake, he's doing it for tension, attention, attention. But you don't know. He, that's why I have a. Um, have like fall back to like nah I think he's showing his kindness alright fair enough when I see other youtubers doing the same I don't know who to believe and that's that's something I don't want to go back to but it is because what, I, what I've said when I was in that blemish car and I saw what I've seen and I didn't, I didn't like that because why the hell are you using these people for tension you don't, right? These like these clips I've seen in other ones, like showing gifts, like iPhone, PS5, and they give to uh, these random people, right? They do like some quiz and all that crap. And I remember I've heard this story, or I think it was on news or Facebook, like, exposing these people, and they asked for that thing back or some shit. Like yeah, that, that happens. That that happens every time. Like every time when I see these clips, you don't know what happens after that video is done. You don't know. If you're live streaming, then fair enough, you've got strong proof. But when when you see a clip or like a video with a fucking song into it, and then they act so kind, you don't know if that person is good. You don't know. I'm not gonna say I'm a good person. I could be bad. I could be really bad. I could be mean. I could be whatever. We're all not good people in this life. We can. We have demons. I'm not religious. I'm not any of that. But we all different, and we all have different moods or different type of life. And uh, that's what I'm trying to say. We're all different, right? But when I see these clips and uh, I see people treat others like really wrong way, I don't like that. Same goes to TikTok. And uh, when I remember I was on Fortnite lobby and this guy came on my uh, lobby, I was just waiting for someone else. And uh, this guy took a piss about this man who shot himself. He was on TikTok. And I was like, look, it's not funny. <laughs> it's funny how so, 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 what happened? I'm like, it's not funny. It's wrong. You should never make fun about this, this man's death. You don't know what happened to his mind. You don't know what happened to his life. 
and it's not funny to make fun of people with suicide. Suicide is not a weapon to use, to make fun, that's what I'm trying to say. I've met people using suicide for tension, and I don't like that. Because you don't know, like, it kind of like a cry wolf. You don't know next time, you don't know next time it's actually going to happen. And I'm trying to say, like, I hate people do that. I really do, making fun about people with Down Syndrome or di disabilities on this platform called TikTok. And I don't like that, because it's not funny. Because, my opinion, right? People with disability are human beings, and that's that's my opinion. I, I treat them equal. I treat them with respect. I treat them with kind. I respect them because they are human human being. They breathe, they live, and they are human being, right? I just don't like how this platform is okay about it. It's not. It's not a platform. Like it should, it should be a platform for not bullying. Like it should be not. And I see bullying on that fucking platform every time when, when, when I'm on TikTok. I see people laughing about these people with disability, um, and people with born differently, with birth, uh, or something like suicide, or something like. It's wrong. It's wrong. Uh, to me, I feel like social media should change a little bit, be a bit strict. Um, yes, YouTube has done that, and they stop people with airsoft and all that crap. They shouldn't do that type, but I mean like someone who's getting bullied or like using really foul um, language, like really racist things too, should be banned, should be removed from the platforms, any platform. And I remember on Facebook, I got banned for um, exposing these bullies that who um, who uh, actually threatened to kill me. And I exposed them. I got the screenshots, and I posted it on Facebook, and I got banned straight away. And I'm like, what the fuck, really? And uh, I remember a few weeks after that. It took me a month or two, I got banned. I think it was suspended or some shit, but I got banned. It says, you, you're, now you're banned or some shit. And then, uh, <laughs> I saw a clip of a man or something got killed. And I'm like, so my was graphic. When it didn't show any graphic. Okay, graphic language, not from me, from this person. But how is it graphic that you can accept this person death to show on the platform and mine is banned for a screenshot this is the reason I don't like someone on their desk making these rules up and they don't fucking listen to it and that's that's the truth and that was that was on Facebook come on do your job YouTube, I, I got, okay, I do have things to say about YouTube, but I don't have much to say because I could get trouble or anything else. I, I feel like YouTube has listened to their um, code or something like that. You know, when you accept their um, agreement or some shit, right? I could tell they listened to that. Yes, they went too far and was done, but they do, they do change every years but yeah um i have nothing to say about youtube not yet so I, I will never bring this to it but to the video but yeah i have nothing to say but on facebook and tiktok i i do and they ex they 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 oh they seem like they don't listen to the reports i remember on tiktok i've been reporting on these things of what i've seen what I've said in this video and guess what is not too much ever does to against the clip I should not do your job I should not do your job to report these fucking video or banned it it looks bad it should be banned for life 
a man who killed himself or these kids killed himself because of this stupid challenge that you are accepted in the first place. I feel like I feel like YouTube should actually maybe t teach this platform TikTok how to um, re to watch the video before it upload or accept it. Uh, it can be a rip, um, could be a rip, like uploaded to the channel. That's what I like about YouTube. They do watch your video before they can be released, and uh, that's the reason I like it. Yes, if you um, upload it before you know the descriptions or the yes. crap, then they they do re they do watch it. But if it, if they see something that it should be blocked or should be banned or should have a copyright, then they uh, give you email or they ban your video straight away or they give you a warning and give you a copyright strike from the video that you that you uploaded. I think that should be on TikTok. Someone should be in that desk, do the job. And yes, it's not always about the person on the desk. It could be someone higher than that. But yeah, um, this is my opinion that TikTok should be removed or someone step, you no, know, step down to his foot. Say, look, we need to change this platform. We need to make it safe for other people. Make it age to higher to 18 to higher than that because so I've seen clips on TikTok is graphic um, it's it's very sexual app to my opinion they talk about this sexual stuff that's not for that's not good for kids to hear like that's like this is the reason I hate TikTok this is the reason that's my opinion TikTok should be removed or be be uh like, what's the words that be removed for life? You you say on the ground, uh, yeah. You you guys just comment that word. That it should be just gone forever. That's my opinion. Gone forever, or um, will never be existed. That's my that's my opinion about TikTok. But Facebook, no one can change Facebook. Um, sadly, uh, they don't seem to change at all uh, but f uh, YouTube has sometimes they go on strict ones or well, pff, a couple of times but yeah I got nothing to say about um, YouTube um, maybe I, if I do then I will not bring it to this platform I'll say it on my discord so if you guys have other way like other topics that you want to bring up to the channel comment down but if it's um, you don't want to share it to the channel Go to my Discord page. Uh, I've made a server, and I'm still working on it. But you can go on it and be a member. Member is for free, of course, to um to be on the Discord server. You just have a chat with us. I'll be there, listen to your um you know listen to what you say on the Discord. I've seen I've had a good chat with other people. So if you wanna. Yeah, if you want to go to the page, I will link it down in the description or link it to the uh, video so you guys can just um, accept my invite and then you will be a member and you will have, like, you'll, you just have a good chat with us. Um, so yeah, um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, but if you do have something to say, go to the Discord and I'll make another channel, um, not channel, I mean like um, Discord channel and it's about this topic um, about social media and I'll and these channels um, whatever or well, we'll have options and you just choose one of them and you can have your own words to say do not be graphic or do not say vowel words but say what you want to say and I'll listen to it and I will try to respond and uh, yeah um, I think that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. See you guys next time. Goodbye.